this is the new tablet set 2 from Sony. So what we did compared to the tablet set, the first one, we made it thinner, we used an aluminium frame and we make it, we made it lighter if you compare it to the other tablet. So it's an IP58 uh, uh, tablet instead of IP57. So instead of one meter for half an hour, it's one and a half meter for half an hour. So you can easily use it in the bathtub or when you're cooking or next to the swimming pool. So if you look at the main differences compared to the other one, uh, the, the other tablet, it's a Snapdragon 801. So it's a Snapdragon 801 with two, three gigabytes of RAM, uh, 16 gigabytes of internal memory, and you can expand it to 64 uh, gigabytes. So it's a 6,000 milliamp battery together with it's what we call stamina mode. And we also have it on other smartphones. When you go into power management, you can click on stamina mode and extend your battery life. When you look at the display, it's still, it's still 10.1 inch with the same resolutions, only we added triluminous. So it's triluminous with X-Reality for mobile. So what is it? It's like a phosphor. We added two phosphor colors, red and green, to give you more colors, give you more contrast. Viewing angles are much more improved because we use an IPS display. When you look at the speakers, the speakers were here on the tablet set, but now the speakers are on, on front. So when you're watching a movie, the sound is absolutely better compared to the other tablet. So then at the front we have a 2.2 <coughs> megapixel camera with Exmor R and at the back we have an 8 megapixel camera. So when you go into the settings of your camera and you go into settings, you got all your applications just like on the Z1. You got AR effect, creative effect, time shift burst, social life, sweet panorama and we added background defocus. So in the Z2 we've got a couple of more features, only it depends on the sensor we have in the Z2. It's an improved sensor, because this one is more for viewing instead of really making photos. But I mean, the 8 megapixel camera, especially in daylight, it, 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 it's just a good camera to make photos. So it runs on Android 4.4 KitKat, so we made a lot of optimizations in the Walkman application. In the album application, so if you have the album application, it looks a little bit better now compared to the, to the first one. You can really zoom in to, to one photo or just go back and see all your photos. And then movies, we have a like, I like this feature. When you go into uh, movies and you get a video clip, it has to be longer than three minutes. So we, let's go to Elysium. So the movie is playing, so go here. So what you can do now is you go there and you can go to a different scene, let's say you go here and then you can zoom in in the video itself. So that's something we added to the application. So this is the tablet set too from Sony. Telefon pintar terbaru pada Sony iaitu Sony Xperia Z2. Sony Xperia Z2 membawakan skrin bersaiz 5.2 inci dan chip berprosesan Snapdragon 801 selain turut membawakan memori 3GB RAM. Dari segi kamera, ia masih mengekalkan kamera dengan sensor 20.7MP namun pihak Sony dilihat telah menaik taraf dari segi perisian di mana ia kena menyokong rakaman video dalam bentuk 4K. Di samping itu, beberapa penambahan fungsi baru yang turut disertakan oleh Sony adalah termasuk double tap di mana pengguna boleh tap dua kali pada skrin ketika ia dikunci dan ia akan mengaktifkan skrin secara automatik. Pada masa yang sama, pada bahagian dialer pula, pihak Sony telah menambah fungsi answering machine. Kami masih tidak mengetahui sepenuhnya bagaimana ia akan berfungsi dan mungkin kami akan membuat ulasan bila kami menerima set ulasan peranti ini. Di samping itu, pihak Sony juga turut dilihat membawakan beberapa penambahan fungsi pada bahagian sound. Selain untuk pengguna telefon pintar baru pula, pihak Sony menyertakan sebuah antarmuka baru dinamakan Simple Home. Dari segi rekaan pula, ia masih mengekalkan rekaan peranti asal dan, dan turut membawakan sokongan kalis air seperti sebelumnya. Pihak Sony juga turut menyertakan sokongan What's New pada peranti ini di mana pengguna boleh melihat aplikasi video, muzik dan sebagainya 
yang baru di pasaran dan meningkat naik dari segi muat turun dan sebagainya sokongan what's new juga boleh diakses dengan menekan butang home untuk seketika dan menatal ke bahagian kiri sementara bila menatal ke bahagian kanan pengguna akan dibawa ke Google Now dari segi notifikasi dan quick access pula pihak Sony dilihat telah membawakan sedikit perubahan di mana pengguna boleh tap bahagian kanan untuk mengakses quick access seperti untuk mematikan wifi dan sebagainya dan sementara untuk melihat notifikasi boleh tap